Hello everybody, so here again with another magic craft run, the action combat roguelike that uh, pretty much is breakable because you can craft your spells that break the game. And uh, yeah, last time I did a normal run because normal runs actually give you more resources as the final boss actually drops resources, but let's go back to hard. Uh, just because, I don't know man. <laughs> good explanation, Sift, good explanation. <laughs> Let's go on and see how it goes. I mean, I have mana regen now from the get-go. Plus four mana regen is borderline busted. As if you think about it, it's almost a relic. So uh, yeah, we got a pop. So I'm going to summon and then we're going to shoot. We're going to summon and we're going to shoot. Uh, let's go with spells. Today I'm going to do some kind of build that we're going to see what it's going to be after the fact. As most of the time, that is what we're doing. I'm out of mana, so I cannot even shoot. You know what, I would like to have a second one so I can all the time shoot, you know, allow these pops to not exist for a moment. It's raining shots, look at this, we draw. We got 5 coins out of that. And the choices are a rare self-aware grimoire, very nice, and an energy saver. Let's do those. And let's go running. Uh, the self-aware grimoire thing is gonna be spawning these guys. Let's go relics. Should I try to do a super duper max life build? I have already failed at it though. I could try that. I could go I'm a mega tank and then and then what? And then somehow get the relic that says health is damage. Yeah, that's not a thing. Maybe if I first get the relic that says health is damage and then rotate over to that, that might be more plausible than the thing I just mentioned I could do. Man, the pets are very powerful. I almost got hit there. The slow actually hit the pet on the face. I really enjoy that the laser beams are hitting the pets, not me. Let's go pets. Let's go pets house. Da -da -da -da. Machine gunnery. Yeah, the pets almost have more DPS than us. Let's see what we're gonna get. Movement speed. Mana regen. Nice. Very powerful. I think we're setting up a good run. Copy HP, shield, coins, and keys on the ground in the current room. Okay, we're gonna use that on a money room, obviously. Let's go with spells. Let's not stick to the idea of <laughs> going for uh, the max mana health thing. <laughs> Honestly, that's a stupid idea anyway. What is this? Transform all non-boss enemies into coins. Yeah, that would be nice to be held for the very, very, very final room. For the very final zone. Because we know for a fact that there are enemies that actually... Um, there, we know that there are rooms that create a bunch of enemies. Although now that I'm thinking about this, I can combo these with... In this zone, there is like a fly that has pieces of it. So that thing I can transform into 10 coins. I have an idea. Uh, arcane exp oh, water gun. Water gun is a bill I never used, so let's try that. And maybe spell pen so the water gun pierces. Yeah, maybe. I would say relics. Uh, the only reason why I would go coins is to actually use both of these. But no, let's go relics. And good thing I actually went for relics because this was not gonna be the room. I would like to use the doubling of coins specifically on a room that I can also find money and I can also find those enemies that are. Uh, a bunch of small pieces and count as multiple enemies because they are a bunch of small pieces. Oh, almost got hit. My realization that I would have gotten hit is faster than me actually getting hit. Double the summon amount. Ooh, or money is power. You know what? This might be the time to go money is power because we have a very powerful start here. Let's try money is power. Maybe I'm going to do a simplistic build. That will also be nice, at least in my opinion. The simplistic build being uh, only... This spell, magic bullet, or maybe water gun. I don't know. We're gonna see. A key, nice. Within a key, enemies cannot detect you while you launch an attack. I'm gonna take this and until you launch an attack. I'm gonna drink this right away. And it's not gonna help us in any way, shape, or form. I'm gonna. I would like to go shopping, but I'm gonna go money here so I can expedite my process of power. Where am I? I'm down here in the corner. Uh, I would like to try to get as many opponents on the field as possible. So we're gonna allow these things to live. And we're gonna try. Ah, corner safe. Uh, yeah, I think I'm risking here for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, this, this seems like risky for no value. I lost life even for no value, honestly. At the end of the day, the room is already done. What is this? Anything locked requires one additional key? Honestly, no. That's a very, very harsh curse. This is about 20 coins. I wouldn't say this is worth it to double. I have all the enemies become coins and then double everything. The idea is I want to make all the enemies into coins. Uh, you know what? Let's actually get someone's going. At least against this boss. Because the boss doesn't really do that much. And consistency is key at killing this boss specifically. Boss sauce. 
Yep, and now we have all the shots, so I can just chill. Yeah, look at this thing dying because the pets are insane. Nice. I already am a summoning build. I could have gone summoning build full on. I don't want to go money as power build. Uh, summoning spell cost less MP. Unbelievable. I had the double summons. This could have been the summon build, man. I made a mistake. Well, regardless, this is still better. So we're going to take this. 12 manager. I mean, this is 15, but I don't really enjoy this. This is very slow attacks, but I'm going to go with this. Change of plans. This has 21 mana regen over 16. So we go here. This always shoots backwards, it says. <laughs> but it shoots so fast. Uh, what would it look like with this? Uh, it still shoots pretty fast, but I would say we go like this. Oh, we can't even do that. I'm going to be pressing 1 and 2, 1 and 2, I guess then. How is this not possible? 40 mana. 36 mana. Does this spend... Uh, irrelevant. Like this, maybe? Oh, this works. What? Well, I want the summoning anyway, so... And we're going to go piercing shots. I want to do the money as power, honestly. Uh, let's go relics. Hoping to get another one of these minings. Let's summon some pets. Uh, shooting backwards is extremely stupid. I've never done this before. I'm poisoned. It appears from the front and then goes to the back. That makes it super stupid. I got hit again. We might die. You know what? Dying here would really fit. Because this is a stupid build. And... Uh, uh, okay, it's working, it's working. <laughs> I'm having fun. Uh, 20 max mana, 4 mana region, definitely. Wow, we're getting value here. I would, lay, I would say money over spells. And we're gonna go money whenever I can do so. This is gonna hit us. Whoops, summon some summons. Some more summons. Go reverse direction shots. Now would be a good chance to get those big enemies that I want to get. Nope, that's not it. Those are not it. Summon more summons. To have my little armada. And these are also not it, obviously. Go closer. Machine gun them down. Stay away. Nope, do not get the coin. I should never pick up the coins as long as I can, at least. Nice. Open this up. And we're gonna go spells again. Yeah, I want to use these two together. Guaranteed together. And here we get the first uh, thing anyway. Let's go summoning summons. And let's continue backwards shooting. Whoop, avoid. Summons. Backwards shooting. Uh, I can't easily hit in there. Nice. I really enjoy that I'm doing 14 damage because of money is power. <laughs> Okay, summon more summons. Yeah, I want to do a crazy mad lad busted build with meteors maybe. A meteor money is power build, that would be cool. So one meteor and instantly everything dies. Literally, or an Avada Kedavra for that matter. I found a snack, that's good. And chain lightning, that's a rare. Although, didn't I? Uh, maybe I should have gone for the coil. Anyway, uh, let's go with... No, that, that doesn't even work right now. Water maybe? So stupid. Let's go snacks. That's a lot of mana getting spent. Uh, we're gonna go relics. Uh, let's definitely summon stuff. And go. And go. Nice. Reverse direction shots. Reverse direction shots. So I'm basing all my money as power build on the fact that I got... And early these two things. And the relic though, obviously. Five healing or crits. I would say healing. I would like to have some healing going on. I need some kind of healing anyway. Money for sure. Please give me those masses of opponents I'm hoping for. Oh yes, here we go. This is perfect. Okay, time to risk all my life for money. Well, oh, I, I'm, I don't care. I'm risking this. Open this up too. YOLO it. I'm gonna wait a bit more. A bit more. I got a coin. Let's go now. Oh, boom. Okay, I need to go over there. Open up. Go away. Double everything. Boom. Okay, so from 110 coins. I should have opened up these boxes, by the way. That was a bit unlucky. Okay, so from 110. Let's see what this succeeded at doing. I even got a good chest there. Is this 200 coins? 
Ooh, this was more than 200 coins. So from two potions, I just become busted. I'm gonna go even more money, man. Money is power. And you know what? I'm not gonna do this again. Um, we stick to my normal things. Uh, no, not that. The opposite. I want this going on. And you can just spawn. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have a book that spawns things that spawn things. Uh, yeah, let's go money, obviously. So, boom. Book. Another boom. I don't have the money. Let's go. These are gonna now spawn spawns. Spawn, 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 I could have had six books, by the way, that spawned ten of those little boys. But no, I wanted to go money is power, and I'm now doing 20 damage per shot. And even more money. Randomly upgrade one relic, if there is no one... Oh, here we go. So I either get mana regen, or I get healing, which is bad, or I get money is power. We're rolling this right now. Come on, money is power out of two. One of three. No, I got the worst one. Healing ten. A bomb will appear besides you from time to time. Nope. Man, I want to get another gold miner's relic. Let's go. Uh, I do have two keys. Off we go. I want to do the simplistic, the most simplistic build ever in existence. 1% chance to instantly kill non-boss. That's useless. We're going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, I don't even look at the curse. When standing, still reduce the casting time and everything else. But you cannot read uh, labels on doors. Nope. Let's go. Uh, money over shop. Definitely. I mean, shop is for keys. I have a key. Money, 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 money. When I find money, we go money. Because we're a money build. So I'm on a book. This is the true money build. I already have 268 coins. Now I want to get the greed relic. The chance of us getting it is pretty slim. Ah, here's the enemy I was talking about, by the way. Uh, although I still believe the previous room was almost perfect. So I'm, I'm okay with this. Nice, open up. Boss time. Get all of those. Let's go. Let's go. Normal bullets, magic bullets. <laughs> I hope the thumbnail is going to be a meme. It's going to be one bullet on the left and then a big bullet on the right. <laughs> Would be fun. Let's see what I can get out of this. Some on the books. Would like to perfect this if possible. To maybe get some... Oh, avoid! Nice. Triple shots. Avoided everything. I have my three books out. So we should be super safe. Look at how much DPS we're getting out of this. Oh, boom! Jumps, jumps, and then... Oh, the last hit. <gasps> okay, avoided everything, and we won. Very nice. Oh, these each have five summons. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, imagine if I had six of these, and all of them having ten summons. Okay, I just found out how you break the summon build. For the future. When the MP cost of the spell cost is lower than ten, increase the energy of the This is literally the best in slot one for the thing I'm doing. Or I can go colored uh, butterflies. Yeah, we're gonna go here. I'm doing the simplistic build today. The simple build. Maybe I should do it with water, by the way. What would this look like? Oh, it has a lot of range, though. What's this thing, DPS? 117. I want to try water. Let's try water. Why not? Does it combo with electricity? No, it doesn't. It could have, would have, should have. Let's see what we're going to get. When dying, come back with half health. Chance to cast reverse direction. That's always good. You fly forever. I'm gonna say chance to cast reverse direction. Let's go. I lose 28 max life. Who cares? Coming back with a revive is also really powerful, but I think we're gonna min max this and not even die at a single point once. I mean, we don't have damage right now, but we don't have spells either. I'm gonna go max health for sure. I could combo my shots. I'm going max health. At some point, there will be something that I don't care about. Okay, I can wait for these. Yeah, we can wait. Okay, the summons cannot wait, I guess. Let's begin. Water gun. Oh, you can stack water guns? I didn't know that. Are these... Is this more powerful than these? No, they're not. Let's get 3d2 max life. Is a snack better? No, snacks cost too much mana. I'm gonna stick to these uh, 25 damage bullets. Yeah, let's not forget that this thing does more damage on low mana cost things. This costs 24. Yeah, the bullets are definitely the play. Oh, it's in random direction. This thing is random direction? This is insane. Uh, off into hopefully a tier 2 spell. No, man. This is the most useless one. Enemies have HP regen. That's okay. The curse that change over time. Not really. Help put around location and take damage. No. Increase enemies movement speed. Mm, yeah, maybe. Everything's more expensive. No. Anything locked requires a key. No. Increase casting the turbo cooldown. Of no. We're gonna go here. Enemies move faster. Okay, this was definitely worth it. 
And then we're gonna go... Uh, enemies have HP regen. Which theoretically shouldn't really affect us. And I got chance to insta-kill opponents. Which is not really that good for us, but it's okay. Okay, uh, let's definitely summon the Grimoires. Let's go. I'm doing 25 damage shots, which is obviously insane. Wow, I'm doing 25 damage shots. If I can make this shot do 1000 damage, that would be awesome. Playing with a normal bullet, I would really like to play with a normal bullet once. We're out of keys. I need to go to a shop and definitely buy keys no matter what happens. Yeah, explode a bomber, whatever. He's now taking 26 because I just got a couple more coins, I guess. They killed my books. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Let's try this again. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, get cornered. Get cornered. Every three coins is 1% damage. 9999. Bye bye. 20 max MP. Heal even more for some reason. I'm gonna go 20 max MP. And I don't have a key. Uh, here I would like to go to shop. One relic. I'm gonna go shop now because I prefer that over life, losing life. Uh, what is the. Tr I don't wanna get any book. MP cost less, portable library. No, no, no. We want just keys. I'm here for keys. I don't want books. I, I might get more uh, magic bullets if I find them, but otherwise nothing else. There is an on sale, a, a rare, common actually. And this handy one. I don't care about these. I don't care about keys. This is still on sale. This is a chance to explode. This is good. 25% chance to deal 100% additional damage to enemies in the radius. That's actually good with a magic bullet if I'm going to play this. So I would like to buy this. Because that's not going to make my bullets explode once in a while. And having AoE is good in general. On the laser beam. Laser beam is also good. Because first of all it's cheap. And secondly it makes this shoot faster. Like almost double speed. And this only costs 5. I'm going to take this. What do you do? Uh, post lot of damage above 45. Yeah that's useless. And that's it. Salvo no and that no. Let's go money obviously. Uh, let's put the laser in here. Otherwise I bought it for no reason. Maybe I did buy it for the reason. I mean, the reason is that it shoots fast. Also, and also it's global. Let's summon some stuff. I didn't find keys, right? I don't think I made a mistake. I don't think we found keys. I'm 99% sure we didn't find keys. Let's go. These are enemies that I think are a bunch of small spl plots. Maybe these are the enemies you're supposed to use the money's damage on. Uh, not money's damage. All the enemies become damage. By the way, I can lose life here to a good old... Oh, what do you do? Life to uh, get rid of both my curses, by the way. That's really nice. And boom, and boom. Got rid of all of them. No longer have curses. Off into the left. Off to find even more curse rooms. Okay, this is doable easily. Light up. And I'm ready for it. Let's go. Oi, 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 oi. And go through. By the way, most of the time I have these broken. Now off we go. Wait for the flames. There we go. Up. Wait there for the flames. Oh, oh. Almost got hit. Then go down. Do not wait for the flames. Go here. Don't pass go. The meme, you know. Whoop. It goes through. We go over here. Light it up. And we're done. Easy enough. I really enjoy this specific room. You can just chill there, by the way. This is a very easy and simple room. And we got tracking shots. Perfect. And a laser. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're going to just put tracking shots on the thing I already have. And the laser doesn't even exist in my mind. We're not going to play laser again. We definitely have a laser build. Hopefully, cuts going to appear at the top right. We're going to go even more money. I mean, in the same vein, I also have money build. Um, obviously. But uh, not this version of the money build. We don't have the I only play with normal attacks version of the money build. Look at the shots. Just I like the laser beam, man. Now the laser beam's cool. It used to be whatever, and now it's cool. <laughs> Unlock everything. Unlock chest in the roll. Okay. I only have one key. I'm gonna use it here and it might have had the key inside of it. A force spell. You see, I will force money always because I will get four spells anyway. Oh, well, these actually become bigger if you leave them. I did not know that's a thing. I have seen them be bigger and I have asked a lot of times like, when did this become huge? But I didn't know that they actually become bigger. I haven't seen it. What is this? Max HP. This is not a curse. I take it. <laughs> Entering stealth mode when you don't launch an attack. Everything is setting up me being a summon in guild and I didn't get the summons. <laughs> Sift. I don't know. I don't care. I'm gonna go basic spells build. Oh, mana regen and water gun. Mana regen. Let's continue. Uh, shop definitely because I'm lacking keys right now. Boom. What is this? First time seeing this. Crystal tube. 
99 mana, 9 regen. Nothing else really. Roll them. When you kill an enemy uh, and a key. Bouncing, I don't care about it. I don't care about these at all, actually. Mm, what is this? A forced penetration 2. Otherwise, not really something crazy. Roll them. Mana region I will take for sure. Okay, and what is this? I guess nothing. Uh, just less mana cost. And an energy saver. I don't want to buy these mana. I want keys only. What is this? It's just a book. And that's it. We're done. Let's go on. Uh, before we go on, I should always remember to break literally everything in this room. From where do these random lightnings come from? Like, why, why are right lightnings happening at random spots? We don't do a lot of damage right now. We need, like, split shots and double shots. Someone pets. Someone pets that someone pets. That's the build right now. And here, for example, I could go invisible if I wanted to. Whoa, what are you doing? Nice, and I think you're dead. Whoa, I'm so stupid. I could have just straight up dodged into any direction whatsoever. 69 life, by the way. Nice. Off into meta progression, and off into the next one. A rare, and another rare. Yeah, I'm gonna buy both of these. Uh, Arcane Explosion Plus, though. I would say Arcane Explosion Plus, and I'm gonna roll that into a normal shot plus. So we go here. And autocast, the autocast thing. I would say, yeah, freeze is like super... What hit me? I don't know what hit me. I guess there was a bullet floating around because the boss is weird. Uh, so I want this. So this summons that, that summons that. Mana region, and... I guess might as well go here. I leveled up or King Explosion in general is good. But it costs 12 mana, and this is a 10 mana spellbook. 10 mana gives 50% damage. You see, now I get free casting without even needing to do anything. Well, let's maybe protect ourselves. Okay, we do a lot of damage very fast. 25 damage per shot is a lot, man. Then, I, As far as I know, the Meteor on its own does 75. And the Meteor is like a rare weapon that hits you too. And this thing is a common weapon that doesn't hit you. And it's even tier 1 right now. Nice 99 damage, obviously. And you're toast. Very nice. Let's go on. Oh, no, you're not. Now you're toast. Opponents are still regenerating life, by the way. 11 healing, or you attack from afar. I don't want this. I'm gonna go 11% chance to dodge a hit. And here I'm between two. I would say I should go here. I should go here. Uh, not yet, though. Not yet. I wanna go here when I actually have enough things ready. To combine, like I would like to have another water gun to combine it into three commons, and then I combine the arcane explosions into the magic bullets, into the water guns, and all of them become magic bullets. Something like that is how I'm thinking about this. I think right now we're good with what we have going on. Uh, yeah, I cannot use the second one. I don't know what they're thinking. Oh, stay away. I could put on the second one a laser beam or something, by the way, but it's okay. I'm not sure I want to. Oh, come on, man. Okay, never ever stay again close to opponents. That's that's an idea from here on out. By the way, I'm still healing 10 per room. So I'm super duper safe doing whatever I want. Discriminate damage reduced. I want this. The reason being, I want to go meet yours or something super stupid. So getting that really is a nice idea. This here is a thing that you can explode if you have some kind of explosion, which I don't have. I don't think our King Explosion counts. No, you have to have something that breaks stuff. Do you need to have laser? No. That's irrelevant too. I'm still sticking to my tier 1 weapons. Uh, they do 25 damage. Let's go money. Oh, there is a healing. 1 to 25. I'm gonna take the dice. The dice have rolled 6. Unlock every rock thing. Let's go. And we healed another 10, so I'm full life now. Right now I'm doing 25. After this room I should be doing 35 or something. And not 35. Why I'm doing 20? I'm doing 25. I should be doing... I guess 27 or 26. Let's see. Most likely 26. 26. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna lose life on this one. Boom. Heal and a key. Very nice. And we're gonna also open up the door. Is this already visible what there's gonna be? Is that a thing? Oh, it's, uh, it's the um, Pokemon one. Top left, top right, top right, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom left, bottom left, top right, top left, bottom, bottom, boom, boom, boom. This is just try and error, by the way. This is just a, it's gonna take you a while and then you're done. I think I tested that door. 
So only this is left. Okay, I I mean I, I three times went to the same. People are cringing most likely. And we got black hole. Which in general is a powerful spell. And leveled up even. Leveled up. Killing an enemy unit grants a bit of effect radius. Yeah, but it's too expensive to cast often. And let's go. Nice. That, that's a rare that's most likely going to become some kind of passive. The issue though is I don't want to spend money. And also something I want to mention. I definitely, to make this super broken, I need to get the relic that says... Whoa. The ghost appear on, front, on top of you or something sometimes? I need to get the relic that says um, every time you enter a floor you gain 8 coins. Because that relic on its own, if I get it right now for example, is 180 coins or something. What did we get? And our laser beam and tracking. We're gonna buy these two. The one is a thing I'm already using. The other is a thing I'm already using too. Let's go here. Lose life. Up, gain life and a key. Very nice. That's the most worth chest in general. Always lose life for that. Uh, max life against relic. Obviously relic. Let's go. I really enjoy this idea of books that spawn books that spawn books. I could have literally not even played if I wanted to. I can already not even play if I want to. We already have enough summoning of summoning of summoning. Whoops, still alive. Look at this, I can do lob shots. Lob shots. Whoop, nope, you're not gonna do anything. Oh, you're also not gonna do anything. Let's see what we got. Or max life, mana when you kill an opponent. Mana when you kill an opponent is gonna help us late game. We're gonna go late game, so might as well take that. Uh, books against max health. I would say spells over max health. I mean, max health is only gonna be gotten when it's forced on us. Otherwise, almost never. And I would like to get more money, by the way. That's very, very important. If I don't get more money, we're gonna fall behind in damage and on everything. Uh, you know what? I would also like to get the coin item. There is a spell that's like a coin. Okay, there's snacks. I'm gonna go snacks and... I guess accelerator. I still do not have meteors or anything that could help there. Nice. For, nope, we're gonna go here. Money. The only way I'm going into a witch's thing is if it's... Um, max health against the witch's thing. Literally the only way that's gonna happen. I'm also gonna keep the potion that opens up all the locked things if I find two locked things minimum. So it's like two keys value and not one key value. Right now I have three keys so I'm not in a rush. And we got a potion out of that. This potion I have seen before for sure. Roll, Reroll a relic. I would say... I would say... Uh, this thing, the stealth mode. I'm not gonna use it. Let's reroll the stealth mode as is. Choose a relic and roll it. Boom. Let's go stealth mode right away. It's a rare even, so it's gonna give us something good. Oh, I hope it's not gonna give us the less AOE thing. If I'm below 25, I actually go up to 25 slowly. That's actually a good relic to have. This could have rolled into greed, by the way, the money relic. Uh, I do have two keys. I'm gonna go relics, I would say... Yeah, I would say we go relics. I think the only shop I need to go in is gonna be super late game once again, so I maybe get a super good wand or something I might need. Otherwise, I don't think I need to go shopping. I think the shop should be selling relics, by the way. The shop not selling relics ever is a bit meh for me. Even if it's super expensive, at least it would make it a bit more worthwhile. Oh, I got hit by a bunch of things. I have 39 life right now. Okay, we have an anti-curse here, so theoretically I can get into as many curses as possible. Stay away from me, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna side shot here. A round shot or whatever you want to call it. It's going pretty well. Oh, by the way, don't these things have... No, we don't have room on them. I wanted to say that I haven't put any passives on my pets or my pets that spawn pets, but no, it's 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 correct. Found another key on the ground, very lucky. Uh, potions have a chance to give you a potion or gain one point of temporary shield every three enemies killed. No, this is for only for the room. We're gonna go potions give you potions and let's hope it's not gonna be the curse room, but at least I can handle it. Okay, so here you need to have a summon. So we're gonna go with the summon. And you just do boop. That's the good path. Boop. That's the wrong path. Boop. That's wrong path. Good path. Good path. Wrong one. <laughs> It sends them back to the base with two damage, and we are done. And we just got double shots. Very nice. So laser is no longer needed. We're gonna go back to double shots, not back over to double shots. And now we just doubled our damage without practically doing anything. Let's go boss fight. 
And let's see how this goes. Also, let's put the summons back on track. And I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. I know we have better spells, but I'm sticking more to the idea of what I want to do than uh, the fact that I care about good spells. Uh, also, piercing shots are really not helpful in this boss fight. Because I want the hits to actually explode on the boss so that the lightning strikes hit it. But the laser beam, yep, go down the corner here. Oh, run, run, run. Uh, loop de loop, yep. And most likely one. Do not. I should have gotten hit, but I didn't, I think. I also started believing maybe Snack is the play. I think Snack might be the play here. Oh, I got hit. So we can no longer get the secret room. Yeah, Snack is definitely the play. In boss fights, you just go Snack. And if you have tracking shots, which I have, you just go Snack. Evaded, evaded. I should have died there. Right there, the end sh run should have ended. I got a double evade on the laser beam. I should have guaranteed died. And the 25 healing. Whoop! Oh, I'm at 5 health. And I survived. Ooh, I'm gonna wait for 25 health to pop up and then we're gonna pick anything else up. I'm gonna still take all the meta progression real quick. And I'm at 25 health, so let's now also heal. <laughs> I should have died. So, uh, on kill, do something, or uh, it's cheap and Meteor. I mean, it's cheap and Meteor is a play. It has a very big cooldown, though. This doesn't have a cooldown. Well, I'm gonna stick to the thing I already have. So... The less MP cost... The more MP cost... What? Why is this more MP? What's the, what's the point of this? You get the Meteor and the tracking, but you get a trash spell in its place? I'm gonna go here. This has almost the same mana region and it has an upside and also has a very good cooldown. And when it gets killed, it summons that thing, so might as well go with the summons now, work on this guy. Straight up better. Question, does this actually work out? Like, does the wand go ahead and try to work in explosions? How exactly does this work? I want to see that. Let's go. Off to the final zone. Now in this zone, the game becomes very hard very fast, and I don't think I have a powerful enough build to survive here. But I'm gonna try my best, uh, and we're gonna just hope that this works out. I'm gonna stick to the snacks, although we will have mana issues, but still the snacks are powerful. Especially with tracking shots and what else we have. And let's go. So does the arcane explosion happen? No, it doesn't. It only happens when it's close to me. Oh, look how many tentacles I got. Yeah, the arcane explosion thing protects me from close-up opponents. Yo, look how many spikes. What's happening, man? These things do insane damage. 77 damage. Woo! Another snack and splits. I guess. I guess. Spells or shopping? I would say spells. I would say spells. I'm doing a only bullets build at this point. Although I'm using snacks, obviously. So when I go close to this, it does the arcane explosion, and when the arcane explosion gets kills, if it gets kills, we're gonna get the pets. Nah, let's keep it as we had it. So I would say you and you. Yeah, this way, at least we have a consistency. Not that the arcane explosion was bad or anything, but this way we have consistency. And uh, let's see what we get. Crits and AoE again. This AoE has this AoE has appeared a lot of times. Crits might as well go to the pets. Uh, piercing shots I'm not really using. What else do I want to the pets? Splits within splits? No. Do splits on the thing I'm using right now. Yeah, this looks decent. And I guess penetration on my summons. Money for sure. I'm gonna still keep the I'm doing only normal attacks type of idea. That's what I want to do, man. I want to try something, right? I want to see if you can win with the base weapon. That guy's toast. Whoop, what are you doing? Yeah, this is going decent, is what I would say. We have some mana issues, yeah, but who cares? It's going nice. Fire damage would be nice if I could roll it. Although that's like an epic spell, so for you to get it, it's pretty rarity. I'm doing like 97 damage or something great. No, I'm, I'm seeing 9s. Bunch of 9s and 27s. I'm doing 27 and 9s based on what is happening. 
normal electric shots. It's the bullet build, but if this is boring, yeah, but it's also weird and not really that often happening, and it's not gonna happen ever again, honestly. Whoop! Let's go these, and uh, let's also get those. I'm not sure if this levels up, man. I think golden. Do you see level ones on things that are not? Th this definitely levels up. This lucky clover guaranteed levels up, and it doesn't say lucky clover level one. So I'm gonna assume that gold mine pickaxe also levels up. I'm gonna go here. We will reroll. Re we will need to reroll a bunch if I. Mm, I don't want to reroll a bunch actually. I already know that we we should reroll a bunch. One of them being the this bullet. Okay, I got reverse movement speed thing. Not movement speed, straight up reverse directions. That thing tries to catch us. The monster from the void. Yep, and it stopped the ta almost got us. No, it actually did get us. Does that damage us or is it only a root? Can I hit in there? I think I hit it with a 999. Seeing a lot of nines and sevens. Come on. Nope. Piercing. Uh eh, crits. Let's go crits. Max left. Okay, this is the time we go for the spells. It's exactly the time I was predicting previously. The time I will be forced into max life is the time we go for spells. How much damage do I do right now? Just to be clear. Mm, I have very low DPS. I am no 500, 600 DPS. Okay, it's not really very low. It's low, but not very low. Uh, level up snacks. Level up this. Okay, so what I would like to do is... First of all, how much damage do I do now? From about 500, uh, we are up to about a thousand. Okay, that's good. That's good. Most of my time, most of my, the time, my DPS is about a thousand, so this is nice. Um, now, first of all, faster bullets. Not that that's helping. So I think the following: I reroll the snacks. Uh, by the way, I want to see: do the snacks do insanely more damage? The answer should normally be yes in general. Ah, uh, they do. They do. They do like 1,600 DPS. But I want to stick to the idea of what we're doing, which is magic bullets. That's what we do. It's it's the, it's about the idea. It's not about the build in itself being the most busted build in existence. Uh, so we're gonna, I would say, combine the... Uh, reroll the Ghost Snack and also reroll the Arcane Explosion. Both of them are common high level ones into a magic bullet. So let's roll these into magic bullets. No, 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 no. Poison is nice. We got double snacks. Unbelievable. Uh, I could get triple snacks and then combine those into something else. So let's maybe try that instead of going for what I tried to go. So I'm going to roll this into one of the 50,000 duels we have. I found a magic bullet. Keep this. Actually, no. Why keep this? Snack, no. Okay, we have two of those that can level up now. Movement speeds are like super relevant. I'm wasting money and therefore damage. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious right now? I mean, this is definitely not staying. Butterfly. Split shots, no. Magic bullet again, no. Mana region, yes. Do I need the mana region? Do I use the mana region? I do need it and I do use it. Okay, I'm losing a lot of money by doing whatever I'm doing. So I want to reroll both snacks into a tier. No, that, that's never going to happen. It's straight up not going to happen. Roll this into something. Come on, man. I think I'm making mistakes. Just just roll the snacks instantly. I got a more mana region. I just found one. Okay. I don't need the other mana region, though. Okay, I didn't get it, but we're closing in. So I got another magic bullet. I can at least play it here. And I also have one of these now. So I can at least use another weapon. Uh, and I would say this is a black hole whenever it casts it. And might as well put crit on it. Okay. Um, Yeah, my DPS is decent now. Let's go with this. Let's go with whatever this is. It is a build. That's it for sure. Let's go relics. I lost a lot of damage by rolling this heavy. Just to be clear, because we lost money. But we also gained a lot of damage. Because now I do 50% more damage. Maybe I'm wrong about that specific aspect of if this was worth it or not. But you know what? What I care about, really? I care about winning with only bullets. He says, while well, meanwhile, back where the background has black holes and I don't know what else. Black hole. Nope. Easy enough. 999 damage, as always, helping us. Let's see what we get. 
Yeah, we use better, more relic options. Might as well go for this. And money. Money is power. I'm pretty sure I've seen the money is power level 2. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. I would like to do the build I currently could have had gotten, by the way. The, you can have more summons and then you're invincible and... And, 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 and. But yeah, it is what it is. Next time I'm going to see this, uh, you get double the summons. I'm going to take it no matter what happens. I mean, if it comes as early as it came this time. Uh, key is over here and let's go for spells. Hopefully this is going to have a magic bullet inside of it. If it has a single magic bullet inside of it, then we instantly can are able to get what I, we want, right? Those are toast. Yeah, if, if this has a magic bullet plus, then we got my build ready. And then I'm not going to need to spend any other money on anything else. Uh, let's open this up. Oh no! This was a, a room that had two of these. Your health becomes money. Gain levitation until the end of the room. Okay. Are we done yet? Yes, we are. Let's also see what we get here. Uh, I wouldn't really like to do that right now. Because I have the your health is money. So make your health is money. Nice, that's a couple of coins. Unlock everything that's locked. Should have used that already. Um, double project the water. I mean, I, once water and once brilliant. Now I have triple water that I can combine and then I can reroll these into one more magic bullet. And I'm able to keep the laser. Why would I keep the laser? Uh, not that it matters. Let's try this. Is this a memory? Yeah, one, two. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, what? Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Did I make a mistake, right? Yeah, I made a mistake. So let's try this again. I hope it's the same. Bottom, top, right, bottom. So it's a rotation, then that. Rotation, then that, zigzag, and next. Okay, rotation. Then zigzag. What? My memory is trash, man. Ah... Twice here, then left, right, top twice, thrice, or okay. Now I guess it's easy mode, right? Yeah, they easy mode me. They easy mode me. Triple shots, nice, perfect. That's actually part of the build. Here we go. It's literally the same cost. Is it better to go more shots of more shots? No, I think it's better to go split shot, not this. Maybe this, actually. Maybe this is better. Yeah, this actually looks better. Because it has a lot more AoE over split shots and also doesn't cost mana. Let's go. Okay, obviously we have track. Oh, we do a lot of damage, man. We actually do a lot of damage. Jokes aside, there is no joke, actually. Just straight up, we do a lot of damage. Stay away from me. Oh, you become big. Uh, super smart move, man. Super smart move to become big against an opponent that has huge AoE. And uh, not AoE, actually. A lot of tracking shots that loop around. And you become huge and you just hit by everything. Come on. Nice. Navigation plus. That's super good. And this is also a thing I'm already using. Nice. We got pop-up. We got pop-up. <laughs> and uh, as I said, we're also using navigation. So I just made my navigation better. Uh, money, obviously. Now that my navigation is better, I increase DPS by definition as it pulls the bullets faster towards the opponents and also it makes my split shots rotate around. One bullet became five. Easy win. Oh, random opponents appearing. This is where you normally are supposed to use the money as uh, strength or whatever it's called. Do I have the thing that... Oh, I have the thing that makes potions drop other potions. I'm not going to take these right now. Uh, let's take the levitation. Maybe it's going to pop something else. It didn't. Uh, the health might as well stay. Uh, and here we go combining spells because we literally just got the trade-off. I said I'm doing the combining of spells in. Let's combo these. And now let's re-roll the, the water. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 yes, done, the build is ready, and off we go. So now this, this our opponents take 100% more damage for 8 seconds. So my DPS now has become, first of all, let's do a laser beam here. My DPS now has become a thousand. 
could be 3,000. What's the opposite? Wait for this to go. Let's see if the opposite is more powerful. Uh, no, it's not, actually. And if anything, I would like to try this without these. Even more tracking and even more multi-shots. Is there any chance this does more damage? Uh, no, there's not. <laughs> so I guess the laser is part of the build. Yep. What would this look like with black hole? Uh... Okay. DPS, it's tr DPS, it's busted. Okay, we're going black hole. Uh... And uh, down here, we're going to go with tracking laser beams. I don't want to spend more money, by the way, at all. If I spend any more money, it's not going to be worth it. Let's go with the laser splits, by the way. That's it. I just throw out a couple of black holes. And look at this damage going up. And this is a leveled up black hole, too, so it's very powerful. Although, the fact of the matter is, this is 54 mana, so it doesn't benefit from that thing. Let's also get the last coins that we can find here. Ooh. That's a lot of black holes, by the way. Let's go relic. Yeah, nothing should actually survive. And this is the final version of this, so uh, yeah. And this is my, you haven't even seen my final form, was it? Un until the last five minutes of the video. <laughs> you haven't seen my final form, and then at the very, very end, it's like, boom! What are you doing? Boom! Black hole. Uh, nice. Let's see what we can get here. Terms and damage. Chance to get coin when you kill an enemy. This, this might give us. Is there any chance that this is gonna give us. 20% uh, damage. That's 60 coins. So for this to give us 60 coins, we need to fight about 150 opponents. There are enemies that are 150 opponents, but I think 20% damage flat is a safer option here. Uh, I'm gonna go Relic. We're not gonna combine anything else. I still really hope we're gonna find the money is power thing. And let's not forget that every time I kill an enemy here, I'm gaining 4 mana. So um, that Relic is helpful. Nice. Whoop, I got hit because that thing spawned on my feet. Uh, what's my curse, by the way? 10 less max HP. Uh, whatever. Got an enemy that died instantly. Lucky Clover. When standing still, gain, cooldown, scatter up. Casting, casting interval, cooldown, and scatter. Void from send AoE. Okay, it's either AoE. I mean, it's AoE. Is it? This is better with the non weapon version. I don't have that much mana region. Mm, let's go with AoE. Yeah, now my balls are bigger. I glitched the game. <laughs> this should be a quote, by the way. <laughs> now my balls are bigger. <laughs> Slash sift. Let's go. Out of context has to be a thing. I need to do an out of context thing. Temp shield based on how much shield you are. Let's go drink. I healed three. Nice. I've never rolled above 10 on this thing. Never once have I rolled above 10. What is this? Mm, energy saver over the... Oh, these are all whatever. I don't care. Shop against max health up. Uh, I would say max health up to maintain the money anyway. I don't have keys. Well, good thing I have the unlock everything. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Opponents are dying. Literally, the black holes are just coming in. And kill. Look at this. They appear and then they disappear. That's it. Appear, disappear. Be gone. I take a shot, boom, black holes are there. And death. And death. I level up. I don't have a key. Money, I guess. Off we go. I want to see the laser version of this. Just to see it. I think it looks cooler. I think this is a lot cooler and a lot more powerful. It feels so much better, man. So much better. Spells against shop. I'll have to say my sp my book is okay. This is a cheap thing. This is yeah. We stick to the thing I have. So let's go book. We might find a good spell. We might find the flame. Come on, man. The key doors. Stop giving me key doors. Don't make me feel bad. Did I find a key on the ground though? I think I hear the key sound. Yep, on the door. On the door itself is the key. Nice. And the spell's bottom right. And I guess our King Explosion and Rock and Roll. A lot of water today. So you to be like, maybe I go water. And then water appears. Uh, is this the classic riddle? Yeah, this is the classic riddle where wherever you press, the things change color. 
Ooh, I don't know how to exactly solve this. It is very solutable. Solvable, solutable. And I'm pretty much at the definitely don't do it this way part of this thing. Okay, there is literally, as far as I know, a site that explains to you how you can do this. For now, I just need to either get them all colored and then just run all, all over them. By the way, if I run all over every single one of these, is it going to make it so that they stay the same? Let's actually test. If I run through all of these, are these two going to be black and the other ones going to be normal? Because if that's the answer, then no, it didn't. Also, um, I think it's always some kind of... You have to be a couple of steps ahead. This needs to get rid of. If I do this, this gets rid of. And then the year. Yep. I'm looping this. I'm looping this. It's gonna, you know what? Editor, speed up the process here. I did it, boys. Took us a year, but I did it. What is this? What is this? Mana drain. Projectile. Unable diffuse damage 3. Crit rate 40%. Restore 4 MP when hitting an enemy. What? What? Can I combo it with this? It spikes. It looks awesome. It looks so awesome. Number for shots 3. It spends 6 mana. It doesn't matter. It, it regens more. Doesn't that make it so that you're supposed to literally use any other weapon with this? Yeah, this is going to give us infinite mana, by the way. This the, the way I'm doing it. But this would be better if I could have it with, like, black holes. For example, this thing. I uh, know the opposite. Like this thing. I shoot the spikes, and then when the spikes... No, no, no. Mm, I'm not sure which version would be the best. Wow, I got an awesome thing! I'm going to do it like that. This does 9 damage and has 55 crit chance. This does 3d1 damage. And has a 40% crit chance. This is worse. How is this so much worse? 3 damage, 11 damage. I mean, this has such a better ability, though. Yeah, because, look, we have mana issues. Whatever seems to be spending more mana is the better version, obviously. Okay, I want more of the 45 damage ones and not of the 9 damage ones. So this is the base and this is the multiplier. Let's go. And let's go. And then hope for the best. And hope for the best. Okay, I mean, I do have infinite mana right now. You know what would be nice to have? Pillars of Light. As that would give us an instant win with the thing I'm doing right now. Because I have infinite mana. I can get Pillars of Light. I can do this. I got damaged, whatever, it doesn't matter. We won anyway. Boss is dead. Uh, there hasn't been a patch yet for this boss actually giving a meta progression, so that's a bit sad. Come on, give me one of the two rooms needs to be a Witch's Cold One. Please! Oh no, it's a relic. That means I instantly have to fight the boss. That means we're not gonna be... I have rock and, ro rock and ball. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We might actually be able to beat this guy. If I do this, or the opposite, I'm sending these out to him. And every time these try to hit him, the spikes hit him, and the spikes actually give us mana back. That might be the thing. Uh, or something like this, obviously. And then I shoot... Yeah, this shoots them backwards because it's the stupidity wand. Like that, I would say. This shoots them forward. But if it's gonna shoot them, if it's not gonna shoot them, we're gonna die. And also, this doesn't have infinite mana, right? Yeah, this does not have infinite mana. Okay, no, I'm gonna try to gamble the thing I want to gamble here. So, you do these. So, we damage the opponent once in a while with those. It shoots backwards. Yeah, whatever. Actually, it's not a whatever. We do it like this... Right, so it does not shoot backwards, stupid wand. And uh, you can have tracking shots, whatever. I want this thing to be with a boulders. So I shoot boulders, and when the boulders pop, they shoot out these spikes. And then when these spikes hit, they rotate around because we have crazy targeting, and they're all gonna hit the boss, so I get mana back, so I can throw out infinite boulders. Otherwise, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, otherwise I don't know how you're supposed to beat this boss. In general, I don't even know how you're supposed to beat this boss without having some kind of blocking. Yeah, so it is working right now. You see I have infinite mana. If you look at the bottom left, you're gonna see it's very visible that I have infinite mana. And the boulders are supposed to be blocking this guy's shots. So let's see how this gonna go. Okay, I'm blocking this guy's shots and we do have infinite mana. We won. 
We won, boys. We won. I beat this guy two times in a row. No, actually, yeah, two times in a row. I mean, yesterday's run was easy mode, yes, but we did fight him twice, and in both those of those fights, we won. He's literally unable to do anything to us now. Uh, let's actually just make sure we're in the middle. And do not get pushed wherever into wherever land. Stop pushing me. I, I try to have, like, the perfect shot here. Maybe here. Yeah, this is the perfect shot. And now I have my pets next to me, so any bullet that might go through the rocks will actually still be blocked by my pets. Look how easy this is. Also, if I'm a bit more forward, like if I close to him, we will be shooting more. And yeah, just increase my DPS like that. Because uh, let's actually do a lap around him. Just for the flex. Is that a good idea? In general, I would say no. <laughs> but I want to do a lap around this guy. And just for the flex. Just for the flex. I'm even shooting some balls backwards that get blocked. Uh, the flex is not a good idea. YOLO it. YOLO it. Trying to shoot a bit towards the right. So my bullets block that side. <laughs> and we're through. So with the hard part's over. Now it should be easier and easier. Nice. Now I go a bit up. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, you know, this this spell is busted. In the beginning, I, you know, in the beginning, the moment I saw it, I was like, you know how I was. I was, okay, not really that crazy, doesn't do that much damage. Yes, it has a high crit chance, whatever, but it still doesn't do that much. But now, now that I'm actually seeing this, and I got hit there, but I did a lap around him. Nice. I did the lap. It counts. Now we win. <laughs> Too late to cry, dude. No, it's not. You know what I would say? This guy should definitely give you meta regression because he doesn't right now. Let's actually... Yeah, look at this Giga Chad. I don't even need to move. I'm just gonna stick here. It might decrease my DPS by a smidge, but at least I have my... My mind... Um, I don't need to think about it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> my mind clean. Does that even make sense? Look my mana going up and down all the time. Up and down, up and down. I was very lucky that I had the boulders, by the way. Uh, let's go back to the flop, to this zone where I need to be. If I didn't have the boulders... This is literally impossible. I was very lucky that I had the boulders here. Luck would have it. We got a win. E -a Z. Good thing I didn't go somewhere, I guess. <laughs> because this guy does target you. I mean, eh, it's irrelevant. I'm really happy that I got the build, though. I'm really happy I got the build. And this mana drain spike is insanely awesome. Uh, visually speaking, it's insanely awesome. And also, like, a mechanic in itself, it's super awesome. I don't think they should ever nerf it. It's an epic spell. It's maybe the second time I'm ever seeing it. One time I saw it on a, on a wand. And this is the second time I'm seeing it a straight up drop. So I don't think there is any reason to nerf this. You're never finding it. And the same goes with the flame, by the way. The run I did the flames, completely busted. But I haven't seen it since. Look at this, man. Look how sexy this thing looks. I'll take back normal shots for a moment. This looks so sexy, man. These, these spikes, they're so clean. The graphics of this game is in general very good. And I did the full run just now on hard mode and I got 8 red thingies. And if I did that on easy mode, it would have actually been more. A lot more. It would have been... Uh, I don't know. How about 20... Not 20. I think 15 or something. You know what I want to do? I want to get a wand that has a lot of slots. Um, yeah, let's go here. Archmage Holy Sword. Good mana region. Scatter, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then I want to go with... Uh, two or three times the one that has mana here. Boom, boom, and boom. Nice. So this is the one that you use mana from other ones. And then this one. This one. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. First of all, I want to go spells. Tier 3. Uh, three max mana droplets. Max mana, max mana, max mana. Okay, you go boom, boom, and boom. Right? And then we go. And then we go the spike. Boom. <laughs> And uh, do I have multiple shots here? No, I don't have multi shots on two. That's a bit saddish. I have damage though. I don't care about damage. Tracking once, twice. Tracking twice. Multi shot does not exist at tier two. Multi shot at tier one, I guess. So I'm gonna go split shot, split shots. Multi shot, multi shot. I think we're done. No, we're not. Split shot, split shot, multi shot, multi shot. Um, one splitter. Two splitters and one more of these. 
So we're gonna go tracking, tracking, splits after hits, splits after hits, double shot, double shot. So we go plus three, plus three, splits at five, splits at five. And then when this thing hit, ends, it splits at five, splits at five into this thing. Uh, these are not the ones I wanted. Uh, it's, uh, where is this? It's at eight actually here. Brilliant fireworks, eight times splitting. Okay, let's, let's like the game like crazy. First of all, this, yep. My PC is about to explode. Whoop. Oh, the DPS is very low, though. Uh, I'm gonna glitch the game out. Let's go. I, I only was allowed to attack once. Oh, this is lagging very crazily. I'm clicking a lot, but... It this doesn't do damage. This has a very low cooldown. Ah, this has a very big cooldown. I need a better wand for this. I need a better wand for this. I need a wand with a decent cooldown. 0 0.55. Or no cooldown if possible. 0 0.3. 0 0.6. 0 0.1. Oh, this one, for example. Crystal tube. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, I can throw one of these out. Let's see. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Ah, the run was better. Anyway, I'm not good at experimenting without actually having restrictions. Uh, I think I am, but it's gonna take me a year to actually get through that whole thing and decide what's perfect. This is not maxed out. 165 is what I need. Okay, how about I throw away one backpack slot and uh, one max health, and uh, we go for a five mana region. Obviously, because that's the best thing you can possibly get. And uh, now I just need about, I don't know, three, like two or three more runs, and I will have all of these maxed out. And I guess two or three more runs to also level up one more orb. This is super irrelevant. Man, this this build, I don't know. I don't know. Can somebody give me a good idea about what to build with this? Uh, exploding from afar. I mean, it's either extreme explosions or it's going to be the electric ground. And even the electric ground with 30% less radius, it's better to not have the relic that gives you 30% radius. And same goes with the king explosion, by the way. It's better to just have it lined up with a shot. I don't know. Give me ideas. Give me ideas as to how you could use this. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.